Hey guys, I have a quick message, a quick word for you today, right? And I just want to let you guys know to not let other people's fears project onto you. Do not let other people project their fears onto you, right? Because that may be their life. That may be their reality. But God said in his word that a thousand may fall at your right and 10,000 at your left, but it shall not come near you. So whatever is going on in the world today, it don't matter. The word says it will not come near you. You don't have to worry about that, right? Maybe that's their reality. Maybe they don't know the word of God. Maybe they're not close to God, okay? I was talking to a friend, right? I was talking to a friend and I started to feel like an overwhelming sensation of fear just by what they were saying. And I'm like, why do I feel this way? And I realized this person... They're living in fear. I should not feel this way because I already know the word. Why should I be worrying about that when God already told me the promise? Why should I be worrying about that when God said, I shall see the the reward of the wicked? Why should I be worrying about what's going on in the world when I already know the promises of God, which is yes and amen, right? Do not let other people's fears steer you away from the promise, right? Do not let other people's fears get into your head, get into your... That is just a tactic of the enemy, right? Because some people, they may not even be... They don't even know that the enemy is using them, right? They're going through their own situation, just how God had to rebuke Peter, right? When he says, Satan, get thee behind, because in that moment, Peter, hopefully it's Peter, right? He rebuked Peter. Peter didn't know that he was speaking from fear. He didn't know that the enemy was using him to talk to Jesus, to talk him out of being crucified, right? To talk him out of being our salvation, right? Some people don't know that, right? So sometimes you just have to silently say Satan get thee behind because Satan is just trying to cause confusion in your life, okay? All right, guys. I love you guys. Have a beautiful, wonderful day.